Here's my uh, here's my predictions for tonight. All right, here's what we're gonna get. So Sega has been hyping this up for a bit. So Sega, of course, loves loves to keep old classics alive and keep like old retro guys like myself still like in it, right? You know that's what Sega's mo is. So I'm gonna guess we're gonna get um, a new Fantasy Star. <laughs> And we're gonna get Gain Ground 2. We're gonna get a new Golden Axe uh, because that's what Sega loves to do. Um, <laughs> we're gonna get all the classics, right? That's Sega, right? That's what they do. Um, so that's my Sega prediction. 12 seconds later. Well, I was joking at the start when I said all this stuff about their classic games. New Golden Axe? What? Dude! I was kidding! I was... Bruh, I was fucking around! What? What? <laughs> what? I don't, I don't care about watching Goku fight Frieza for the 70 trillionth time, I care about Golden Axe. That 3D Streets of Rage! Oh, that looks so good. That's like just such a natural transition for the series to go for that like slightly isometric 3D. Kind of like, like Die Hard, like um, Dynamite Cop style. Like that's such a perfect style to transition to it. That's that's such a smart way to do it. Like that looks so good. Uh, Golden Axe being like a 3D, just full on action, no platformer, just running around beat shit up. Totally fine. Jet Set looks good. Crazy Taxi looks over the top and batshit insane, but that's that's fine. That, that whatever. I was kidding. Like like I said, I started this just because <laughs> Sega never cares about any franchise prior. If it's not Sonic, and you were made, and if it's not Sonic, and you're not Yakuza, who cares about you, right? Even Monkey Ball, like like Sega will like sometimes like dangle it like in front of us. Like, yeah, there's a monkey ball. Yeah, 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 yeah okay. Yonk is a Sonic. So to see them do this, like, what? That is so crazy. It's time to there, that mean, there, there's a chance. There is a real chance that we get Fantasy Star 5. It's always been a joke. It's always been a total joke because Sega has not cared about anything prior to 2005 or whatever you want to do. I guess whenever the last Jet Set radio came out. Sega did not care about any game previous to that. Seeing this Shinobi, there is a chance that we get to continue on the fantasy star lineage, the fantasy star story. Like, like, if they do, it's got to be back to, like, the algo system. Like, it's, we got to go back there, you know, like, we got to continue. Like, oh, man, they, it has to, oh, there's a chance. There's a chance. I'm not getting, not getting too excited, but, yeah. You actually, Sega, you actually care about these old franchises that set fucking sales records and, you know, won all these awards back in the 90s that you just then up and forgot about? Like, you actually Remember this, like, what? <laughs> the end more is the biggest one, like, oh my god, this is a thing, like, they're doing this, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy, I've, I've always secretly been hoping that Sega has just been just raking in money from the Yakuza games and Sonic and just storing it in a vault like Scrooge McDuck and just being like, okay, we have enough money now. We can experiment. And this is now finally happening. That's what I've I've always assumed because Sega's been so risk averse for the past few like past 10 years, right? All they do is pump out Yakuza, re-release Yakuza, do Yakuza that which I love. I love the series. I cosplay the series. Like you know what I mean? Like great series, love it. And same thing with Sonic, right? Pump it out, pump it out, pump it out, pump it out. And everything else is kind of just you know, safe things. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games and shit, right? Like, so I've always had this this hunch that they've just been building their Scrooge McDuck, you know, money vault. And now that it's at a certain level, they're like, okay. So I've always had this belief. It's it's just a it's just fanfic 
you know, it's 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 not real. But my in my head canon is that Sega Sega has just been raking money into a duffel bag and then throwing it into a vault. And now that they have twenty duffel bags full of cash, they're now like, okay, we can do crazy taxi. We can do jet set radio. We can do Streets of Rage. We can do Fantasy Star 5. We can do all the stupid shit that our fans have wanted us to do. It, that's what it seems like to me. And that's what I'm going to believe. That's, that's what I'm going to believe. That they're going to do it. And then if it's a success, they're going to keep doing it. And if it's not a success, they're just going to go, okay, back to Yakuza and back to Sonic. And then back to raking. That's <laughs> that's what I think they're going to do, right? So if it works, hey, we get Altered Beast. You know, that's got to be one of them, right? That's got to be the end. That's got to be part of the end. More Altered Beast. That's got to be one of them. Like, dude, 